Hi, this is Sonia with ArtHash, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to brighten up a photo in Photoshop. Okay, so we have a photo right here, and um, this is the one in the other tutorial that was crooked, and I, I showed you how to straighten it up. And I'm going to show you how to kind of brighten it up and clean it up a little bit. You can do this with um, artworks, you can do this with photography. Um, but this is a picture that I'm actually going to use to insert a piece of artwork into. Um, so I would like it to be a little bit more clear. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to image and then I'm going to go to adjustments and I'll come over to the side here and I'll go to exposure and um, I will use the gamma I'll use all of them actually. So I'm going to go up on the gamma a little bit. And this is something that you can play with on all your photos. The exposure, the offset, the gamma. The exposure and the gamma usually brighten the photos and the offset gives you a little bit of contrast. So I'm going to go up on the exposure a little bit. You can see that kind of brightens it up already. And then I'll go down just a tad bit in um, the offset and even just a little bit will will do a lot so I'm just gonna go just barely on that and I'm gonna come up a little bit in in the gamma and this is all just trial and error just something that you're playing around with in the internet and this photo um, is like I said I'm gonna use it to insert a piece of artwork in this isn't any kind of major photography thing so I'm just I'm just doing it so it's usable to me so anyway, that looks that looks okay. So I'm going to go to okay, and I may come back to this later, or I may not. So I'll go to okay, and then I'm going to go to image again and adjustments, and now I'm going to go to um, brightness and contrast. So um, brightness is obviously going to do a little bit more brightening. Now you don't want to do too much because it can just, it can wash out all the colors. I'm going to do a little bit more contrast. Okay, now you can see how the colors are really, really, really bright. And it's a little hyper bright for me. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustment, and I'm going to go to Hue and Saturation. And um, the colors are really, really highly saturated in this. So I'm going to move my saturation level down just a little bit. And see that that uh, took out some of that kind of too much hyper color that's going in there. See if you move your saturation up you can see all the colors become um, too saturated. <laughs> so anyway we're gonna move this back down just a little bit and that looks a little that looks good to me and you can you can move the the hue around a little bit and see where you like it. I think I like it right there. So anyway, okay, I took this picture uh, with my iPhone, so it's not anything off of a good camera or anything like that. It's just something, like I said, I was going to use. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to go to Filters, and I'm going to go to Sharpen, and I'm going to go to Smart Sharpen. And see, it kind of hones in on a particular area, and you can use any of these things again like I said it's trial and error you can um, move this up a little bit and see you can see that sharpened it up move this up a little bit no that's that's too much um, we'll go probably back down yes we'll go down on that yeah that's better and then you can play with these and what what you want to remove lens blur motion blur gaussian blur who knows how you say that but anyway that's what i'm calling it okay and then we'll go to okay and i think i'm going to go back to adjustments and go back to hue and saturation and i'm going to desaturate a little bit more take the saturation down a little bit more okay and um, for all practical purposes since I'm just going to use this photo for another tutorial for you guys that is um, that's how you 
clean up and lighten and and play around with the colors in your photo. Um, once you're done, you just go to File, and you can either save it if you want it to save where the old photo was, or you can do Save As if you want to keep the old photo and play around with that again. And um, I'll go to Save As, and um, I'll just rename this. I'll call it Number One Den. Oops. In and save okay and now your picture is saved again I'm Sonia with Art Hash and if you're an artist or a gallery you can just go to www.arthash.com you can post an art show a call to artist post an art interview and link it back to your website and um, you can generally just browse around and see who's been submitting stuff and and submit your own. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.